delightful ladies a clap. One more. Ow. One more. Ow. One more. <laughs> Let's drink of this bourbon. <laughs> Why did I do four of them? One more. No, I'm not clapping anymore. Did you get it? <laughs> we're back. It's Bye. the Kitchen and Jordan Show. Hi. Today we're going to be trying every Trader Joe's branded liquor. So that does not include beer and wine, of which they do have. We're talking gin, tequilas, whiskeys, bourbons, whiskeys, other whiskeys. Whiskeys. Oh, there's vodka too. A I vodka. Obviously, we are going to be tasting these alcohols. We are not going to be shooting them. We are not trying to get drunkity drunk, drunk, drunk. We do not encourage binge drinking. Do not binge drink. Only drink if you're over 21. We are both successfully over 21. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. And we also both lifted to work today. We are prepared to do this responsibly. And also I'd like to point out again, we're not alcohol experts. This evaluation, like take it from like your friends evaluation. I think we're trying 17 liquors today. And if we're not trying 17, the correct number will be right here. This number, it's yeah. whatever that is. Yeah. As you know, the categories we'll be ranking these go to just okay, pretty good, and really great. And if things are quite bad, then it will go in the penalty box. Yeah. I have a feeling the penalty box is going to be quite full today. First, First alcohol is preeminence gin. It's gluten free, so that's nice. Nice. Great. Hi. Thank you. Oh. What were you trying to do? I just put hair gel on. My hands are very oily. Wow, still... that is a strong gin. It's actually, it's in a wine bottle. It's sort of like a Coachella lineup. It's California grapes. Also on the smaller stages, juniper, coriander, lime, and in like the shacks, it's still. The headliner is definitely like. Oh, <laughs> Billie Eilish. <laughs> the best way to drink gin is to just like sip it. Yeah, just a little. Just you go anywhere without spilling something? No! Give me a sip, please. Okay. So, we're gonna smell this first. It smells like turpentine. A little bit, but you get oh. the lemon. Ready? Let's go. I think that's pretty good. It's a pretty mild flavor, I feel like. It doesn't burn that much. Of all the hard alcohols, I think I like gin the most. You hated this. <coughs> what did you think? Not bad. <laughs> it does burn a little bit. It's not that bad. It obviously wasn't distilled in a toilet. Well, <laughs> we don't know that. The Trader Joe's preeminence gin, pretty, pretty good. good. Trader Joe's, rum of the gods. And the image on the label is of a sailor wrestling a bear dressed as a sailor. Let's What's know when you're ready. Christian. You go anywhere without spilling something. No. My God, woman. <laughs> What's the story behind the bear dressed as a sailor on this? It doesn't really look like they're wrestling so much as it looks like the first sailor is giving the bear the Heimlich maneuver. Ooh, I'm already feeling a little good and we've only tried one. <laughs> I feel nothing yet, but I'm excited to get on your level. Ooh. Now that does not smell pleasant. I do smell like fruit a oh little bit, God. but the alcohol smell is just like very overpowering. I don't like rum. <laughs> It's okay. That's not bad. It doesn't burn. You do get a little bit of the fruit flavor, which I think is nice. And it's much milder than the smell would have you believe. I would say this is pretty good. Spit bucket. It's not a spit bucket. It is a spit bucket. It's just where we're putting the excess. Yeah. Cool. So this is another rum of the gods. It's got the exact same label, except this is white rum. So Kristen, you'll be enjoying this one. <laughs> I went for the easy joke. <laughs> oh my God. Are you no, hold on, hold on. I'm just putting the extra gel in my hand. No, it's done. That is so much. It was an accident. We still don't Why? understand the relationship this bear has I, with this sailing company. I don't understand the story here. Well, it's Paddington 3. <laughs> oh. Guys, straight liquor is not very good. <laughs> oh my God, it's still happening to me. I already drank it and it's still happening to me. This was uh, just okay. Get out of here. Okay. Next. Spit bucket. It's not the spit bucket. We need the spit bucket. Trader Joe's Golden Vale. Irish cream liqueur. I feel like this is basically Bailey's Irish cream. How do they make this? It's basically like, would you like a milkshake, but made with whiskey? Nice. It's like alcohol candy. It's Ooh, but it does candy. smell really strong. Give it a sip. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. That goes down easy. It's weird. The smell is really concerning because you expect it to taste like rubbing alcohol, but it's actually super smooth and very creamy. It is still alcohol though. And if you're under 21, you should not be drinking it. Yeah, don't. It's not cool. Stay in school. This is really great. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> I don't really drink that often in my personal life. I prefer to drink beer if I'm drinking anything. So if I like something, that says something. I think we just accidentally bought Jameson. <laughs> this isn't Trader Joe's branded, is it? This is Jameson. Okay, damn it. Were we drunk at what earlier? Happened? <laughs> Trader Joe's single malt Irish whiskey. This was apparently aged 15 years. What does single malt mean? I don't know. Okay. It just means it has one malt. Cool. 
What a good fact. Wow. Wow, true. It smells like old man in a library. Oh. Most of the time, smelling alcohol is like a bad idea because it always smells stronger than it actually tastes, except for wine. Smelling alcohol is like a critical part of understanding the taste profile. I don't know if that's true. It's just normally when people smell alcohol, they do it in a very controlled, precise way. This is precise. Look no, at all this like cream I still have in this cup. <laughs> Irish whiskey, granted, like, it does burn. It doesn't feel good to drink it, but it should have, like, a, a round, rich, mahogany-type taste. This kind of just tastes like a sock I left in the dishwasher, but it's filled with booze. <laughs> just okay. Oh, more gin. Gin. More, more gin. gin. Barrel-rested gin. Why are you pouring more? <laughs> Ooh, it smells like chocolate. It does smell like chocolate. Right? Interesting. Yeah. There's vanilla in here. Plastic stuck to me. The vanilla really comes through. Yeah, actually. It smells good. It's like nice finish. Here's the thing. In order to taste alcohol in a way that appreciates the flavors, you can't shoot it. You can't even sip it. You have to like basically let a little bit of it like sit in your mouth and then just kind of sit with it for a second. Oh, I feel it now too. Jesus Christ. Really Barrel rested gin. Really great. Trader Joe's high rye bourbon. Aged a minimum of three years. This is a preschooler. Sick. It's not potty trained. Me? You like old fashions, right? I feel like old fashions, yes. Kind of smells like licorice. It has a honey smell. That's pretty drinkable. Yeah, that's not bad actually. I genuinely would not know how to describe this flavor without the labels. It's, it's corn. It's oaky, honey. It's oaky and honey. It's sweet. It's sweet. <laughs> High rye bourbon. It's pretty, pretty good. good. Spit. This is like a lemonade stand for a kid who doesn't know what to put in lemonade, so they put milk in it. <laughs> oh God. We now have reached the tequila portion of the video. Yeah. I will say tequila is like delicious. It has like all the nutrients you need. No, no, no. A balanced I, diet. I like tequila. I haven't had tequila in a while, but I remember enjoying it. <laughs> There's aromas of olive, cheese, herb, custard, and chocolate peanut. Tequila actually has like a really, really complicated flavor profile. Ooh. They also smell the best, I think, of all liquors. It's tequila. I'm gonna defer to you on this one. Here's the thing. Is it good? No. Did it hurt to drink? No. It gets points for not being painful to consume. Okay. Which I feel like a lot of alcohol struggles with. I think it's just okay. More tequila! But this time it's white tequila. Open, please. One of these days you'll be able to open it yourself. Maybe. It smells Ooh. okay. It's not my favorite. <laughs> Oh. I've had really good that tequila is awful. in the past. No. But this is, is no. not really good tequila. No. Goodbye. This is probably penalty box bad. <laughs> the art of the still. Distilled organic gin. 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 It's what's for ginner. I liked it. Oh, it was good. <laughs> gin time. Ooh. You can taste the lavender. It does not appear that there's lavender in this. You can taste the herb. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you like gin more. I do like I gin. I defer to you. Pretty yeah. good. Spit. Trader Joe's single malt scotch whiskey. Oh, f Trader Joe's Bayside single malt scotch whiskey. It has been aged. It's been <laughs> aged eight years. I hate scotch. I'm just gonna say that. What kind of mixed drinks do they put scotch in? You don't. It's scotch. Some people do make scotch cocktails, but like you should be drinking scotch straight. Usually you put like a dropper of water to kind of open it up a little bit. Not that I think there's like much to open up here. All right. That not maybe that's a little too, much too much. Water. <laughs> We're supposed to have flavors of caramel, dried apricots, vanilla, and light cinnamon spice. Tastes like soap. Oh no! But if you can get through it, actually, the honey flavor is pretty good. Bit bucket. Just okay. Looks like we've just been peeing in here. Trader Giotto's uh, Sicilian Limoncello. This better be good or I will sue my mouth. Well, I went to Italy for the first time ever, and that was the first time I'd ever had Limoncello, and I thought it was fine. I'm it's definitely a... pronouncing it wrong. Limoncello. Limoncello. It says best served chilled, which is good because it's been sitting in this hot stage for four hours. Nice. Mmm, smells like lemonade, but naughty. It's like drinking a lemon head candy. It is very, very sickly sweet. I don't hate it, but it does have a very strong, like artificial oh, lemon God. taste. I mean, it is tart, but like in a wrong sort of way. I don't think it's tart at all. Like it took a wrong turn at tart and just went to fart. It's just don't try to resuscitate this. We keep looking at the bottle thinking maybe we did something it's wrong. It's a beautiful bottle. What a great bottle. Dump out the liquor in it and just put a flower in there. Oh, are we done with this yet? No. Oh, Trader Joe's, the art of the still vodka. How it, are you feeling? I mean, I feel fine. The alcohol is hit in a really weird way. I'm not drunk, but I am very sleepy. I'm not drunk at all. It it's is, also really hot It in is here. incredibly hot. Do you like vodka? No. Well. No, oh, it's, it's bad. bad. It's bad. Let's not pretend like this is a good relationship. This is penalty box bad. Yeah. Throw, get, throw in the trash. Yeah, get rid of it. Spit bucket. Have you seen? <laughs> Sorry. Pour that all over yourself. 
<laughs> Trader Joe's versatile spirit vodka. God, I did not like vodka. We can do this. Yeah. I believe in you. Yeah. It is a lot smoother than it the previous one. It is much smoother. Okay, all right, all right. A decent vodka. God, we had a bad attitude going into that. I know, I'm sorry, man. Wow. The sleeper hit of the summer. Exactly. I'm impressed enough with this where I want to put it in really great. And you don't care enough to fight me on it. No, I can get there. Trader Joe's Versatile Spirit Vodka is really, really great. great. Yeah. Trader cool. Joe's Highland Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. This one has been aged 10 years. Another scotch? Oh my god. Can you imagine if we'd done like all the wine too? Oh, would have died. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Hurts my fingies. <laughs> yes, this aged poorly. It's like soap, but it's on fire. Oh my god, my eyes are watering. I think this is penalty box. Yeah, bag. this is penalty box bad. Do you have an opinion on it? I do not enjoy this. It's bad. This is bad. We're on our last liquor, thankfully. <laughs> Special Reserve Irish Whiskey. It's amazing how after a while, they all start kind of smelling the same. Anyway, let's drink this. Okay. It's not offensive. There's nothing special or reserved about you, baby. It just tastes like pretty average whiskey. Special reserve whiskey, just, just okay. okay. So we finished, we did it. As is our tradition, we will now talk, no, we're not gonna throw our- We did it! Woo! As is our tradition, we will now talk about our most favorite and least favorite alcohols. Top three, bottom three. My top three are the Irish whiskey, the barrel rested gin, and the versatile spirit vodka. My top three, <laughs> was the Irish cream, the preeminent gin, and the barrel rusted gin. I'm just a gin head, what can I say? That is just your name, but what I expect. I one know! <laughs> All right, what are your least favorites? That bottle of Jameson. <laughs> My least favorites were the Art of the Still Vodka, the Highland Single Malt Scotch Whiskey, and the Blanco Tequila. It's the same. Those were all in the penalty box, and for good reason. Yeah, they were bad. All right, we did it! We did it. What do you want us to try next? What do you, what, what do you? What? What, what is just, it? What is it? 